Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be checking out another mill cert. Today I've got the ever popular uh, Enfield number 4 Mark 1 surface rifle chambered in 303 British 10 shot magazine fed from five round stripper clips as you can see right here. Bolt action, cock on close design. I'll show some close ups of this in a moment. Very, very popular rifle, over 17 million units produced in its total production time. Um, very long lineage of rifles that started out as early as around 1899 or so uh, when they developed the early um, Enfields, uh, SMLEs, short magazine Lee Enfield rifle. This is the unit that basically won World War II for the British Commonwealth Forces. Um, a lot of these were in use in that time frame. Very good guns. They made some minor modifications to the design to ease manufacturing as the war went on. The number four Mark I utilized either a brass or zinc butt plate with a hinge trap for cleaning materials respectively, like most uh, rifles of the era. The overall stock set on the rifle is a total of four pieces. You have a rear butt stock, one piece four in, and the upper handguard arrangement is two pieces. Now, throughout the production of the infields, they changed around the sights a little bit. This particular version of the sight is what's known as the Mark III pattern sight. It's all stampings. Some of the earlier versions use worm gears and elaborate milled uh, sight pieces. This particular one is stamped, real simple, easy to acquire. Not quite as nice as some of the uh, older styles of sights, but very usable. Some of the number four Mark I's and Mark II's had just a simple peep sight rear with two apertures, one for 300 meters, the other one for 600. Ideally, the effective range of the cartridge is 3,000 yards. One of the most impressive traits about the infield is its smooth bolt action. The operation of the rifle is very smooth due to the fact that it's a cock on closing design, which means that the striker piece is actually cocked against the sear as the bolt is closed. So what that affords you is a lot greater form of mechanical, mechanical advantage compared to a cock on opening bolt, which makes the infield uh, really quick to work. The safety is located right here on the rear. This lever flips down. The bolt can't be opened and removes all the sear contact so the stock strikers lock back. The overall length on the barrel on the number four is longer than a num uh, number one Mark III and the crown and end of the barrel is completely exposed. This lug right here is for your bayonet. The front sight post is um, protected by these two large uh, milled steel ears. The front sight post is drifted for windage if you need to adjust for windage. Two five round stripper clips top off the rifle. Right side of the plate. Gotcha. High left. Gotcha. High left, same place. Gotcha.
Good shot. Good shot.